Uh, Colombia is divided and many, particularly those who live in the cities and the middle classes, think that uh, the war was about to be won, that the guerrillas were going to be defeated uh, because the offensive, the military offensive implemented by former President Uribe. So the question there for many Colombians is why do we have to make concessions? Why do we have to negotiate with terrorists? So it's very difficult for a country so divided to come to an agreement not only about whether the peace is or not needed, there is a consensus on that, but what kind of peace. Colombia has many illegal armed groups, have a strong presence of drug uh, cartels, of transnational criminal networks. There are still problems with the former paramilitaries transformed into criminal gangs. There is a problem of culture of violence in, in the shanty towns in the larger cities. So Colombia has many problems. One of them is, is the ideological conflict between FARC and the government, and hopefully also bringing the second guerrilla, the National Liberation Army, ELN, into the table. So what does this mean? This means the disarmament of, let's say, 8,000, 10,000 people and a real challenge for the government to offer them a new life and the reintegration of this group into the political life, but will also mean that Colombia will need to provide the social services and the security to that population and also to the people who live in the most affected areas. The armed conflict in Colombia became increasingly marginal because as a consequence of the military offensive, the guerrillas uh, were cornered, were sent to the borders, to the jungle, to very isolated areas. A psychological consequence of that marginality of the conflict is that many Colombians consider that the conflict is no longer the most important problem to address. They want to see more employment, they want to see better education, they want to see improving, improved services, and also peace. But it's not the most compelling demand, the war is not fought in the streets. The challenge will be to uh, bring the conflict into the core of the concerns of Colombians and to pay much more attention to it and to its uh, resolution.